um, product management is a really the fusion between uh, technology, what engineers do, and the business side. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, uh, yet another episode of Expert Talk series on product management of ISBR Business School. Today with us, we have Mr. Shubham Gupta. He is a pass out of IIT Kanpur. He has worked as a senior product analyst at Ola and is currently working at Clear as a product manager. We welcome you, sir. Yeah, hi. Hi, hi, everyone. Yeah, so I, yeah, I'm, as rightly said, I'm currently working as a product manager. I've been working uh, for B2B side of things for the last two and a half years. And before that, I worked for like uh, on the B2C side of things. Uh, I've worked into mobility. I've worked into food delivery. Uh, I was in Food Panda as a part of Food Panda. I've, I've worked into cloud kitchens. I've worked into uh, B2B SaaS products for Indian enterprises and SMEs, right? So, um, yeah, that being said, like I have a fair uh, uh, amount of experience into product and uh, Indian uh, consumer space. That's great, sir. Uh, so to start with, uh, could you tell the viewers that uh, what is product management and what made you inclined, uh, you know, towards uh, product management? Okay, so to answer your first question, uh, product management, uh, I think, I think it's a uh, confluence of uh, technology, uh, design, and uh, and consumers uh, consumers needs or or maybe you can call it even even business side right. So uh, basically, what we do at as a product manager, we have a product which is trying to solve a particular problem of a customer. Customer can be an individual customer or a business. Uh, and what our end goal is, uh, our end goal is the success of the product that uh, we have made. Uh, by success of product actually translates to success of the customer at the end, because since uh, uh, customer is the first priority for any business uh, as, as a whole, right? And our individual uh, KPI as such is to drive the success of the product through technology and through design, right? So product management as a whole, uh, we have to have a full understanding of our customers and how does their need translate to a product and how does that the product translate to the technological and the design requirements so we have to work along with technology technology team along with the design team and along with the business team to drive the success of the product which in turn drive the success of the customer and uh, i mean in the meantime brings us some revenue as well right uh, to answer your second question uh, what inclined me towards product management so i have a uh, engineering degree from iit kanpur uh, i did my btech from material science and engineering uh, i have been a problem full a big time problem solver all my life uh, right from the days where i was preparing from from for my iit i was uh, uh, I, 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 I really i would really like to apply the concepts that i learned from my school and from my coaching towards solving with problems and then then on with the, there onwards i started uh, working on uh, some real life problems and when i was in college right so uh, and i always wanted to get a lot of exposure about about the customer uh, about the dynamics of, of a person what what do people really need because you when you pick a problem when you start solving a problem you should also uh, have uh, you should be very clear in mind does that problem needs to be solved does that problem is that problem big enough does anyone even have this problem or not right so basically you want to do uh, two three things you want to consider two three things here one is uh, does anyone really have that problem does that is that problem big enough for someone uh, 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 that it bothers them and the third is whether you have the right kind of an expertise of or a right kind of a capability to solve that problem at best right so uh, i think yeah i mean to see product management is is about problem solving but it's about like five or six or ten more more things right my uh what inclined me was uh uh problem solving uh now i'm 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 getting deeper into things like customer understanding behavioral understanding of people uh how how people behave uh and what 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 drives what 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 makes people uh, get money out of their pocket and things like that right so yeah so my initial inclination was problem solving and now it's uh now it's become broader in terms of customer understanding behavioral understanding 
and and like more, more, more such things right and also uh, product management is also about understanding technology it's about understanding uh, what are the latest innovations what are the latest things happening uh, in, in the design side and as well as in the, in the technology side and how can that translates uh that solve your greater product vision how can that translate to solve a problem of a customer and how can that technology finally help get, get us uh get uh, get to a state of a sus of sustainability for a company which can sustain for a long period of time and uh, solving a problem for a customer at the same time right so yeah so these are some aspects which really excites me uh, being a product manager that's really great sir it is it's actually good to know what interests you a lot in product management uh, uh sir you know to to get to the next question uh, how has the rise been uh, you know of product managers in india okay so actually a uh, few see 20 years back there was no such thing as product manager uh, there was like no one really uh, knew uh, what no one had a clarity. there was no such term as product manager and even even i mean 10 years back people had no clarity there there was some term they, 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 this, this was there was a fancy designation made out by players like uh, uh, amazon and facebook who started uh, he started coining this designation new designations actually initially uh, it was uh, only business teams who were driving the growth of a business and technology teams so business teams used to uh, translate the customer needs into uh, into tech demands and to tech requirements and ultimately coders used to get that demand uh, fixed for them uh but ultimately uh there was uh, what 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 the missing piece there was a product vision uh there was definitely a revenue vision there, there, there was customer understanding there was there was clarity around what to uh, uh what problem is to be solved but how is was a question uh which uh people from business side of things were solving initially right then there was a rise of internet eventually and then there were people started building their businesses on apps uh, right so when that happened uh, that brought out a need of, of of a person who sits between business and technology who who has an understanding of technology and customers at the same time who is not really responsible towards customer acquisition or building revenue directly but uh, is basically uh, working towards a greater product vision uh, which was initially missing so when uh, after towards the rise of technology towards the rise of internet and 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 information uh, basically the information stage of things uh, i think a product manager was something who really came out into picture and started filling that vacuum of things where people uh, where businesses really wanted someone who can uh, who can have a greater product vision and also uh, translate uh, business requirements into technology requirements right uh, so uh, this need arise only because there were businesses there were there were giant businesses there were really giant businesses uh, who were made out of internet right because previously uh, the businesses were uh, uh, running on brick and mortar uh, uh, kind of uh, things and like uh, internet uh, really drove uh, uh, exponential success for a lot of companies and uh, companies were really in a, in a in a in a drive of uh, in, a, in 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 a drive of getting bigger and bigger uh, in in a very less amount of time because of internet because because of the reach the internet created and that was the uh, time when pace mattered a lot for a lot of companies and that was a time when people couldn't really afford to be slow uh, because there were uh, other companies which 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 would which would have easily outrun you at, at at any point of time so that was a time i think uh, people really wanted someone who has expertise in business who has expertise who has customer understanding and who also has the understanding of the technology at the same time right it it uh, a developer cannot understand uh, their customer maybe who would not have a understanding of a business maybe uh, but uh, but at the same time a, a business guy might not have an understanding of uh, how to code or how to how to build a, uh, a an app wireframe maybe right so uh, so those kind of things uh, really some some person had to fill it and and that was product manager at the end so it's it's basically a new concept uh, lately if you consider the last 10 or 20 years but i think it's 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 going to go a long way 
and i think product managers are are, are changing the world and will will change the world for for good in in the future yes sir that's right uh, you know that gives a lot of clarity about uh, you know about product managers so the next question would be uh, how much are product managers important uh, you know for a company you throw some light on that yeah so uh, so if you i mean there are like many different kind of companies in this world and uh, there are companies into manufacturing there are companies into uh, uh, into technology there are companies uh m- m- like into very different sectors like tourism and all right uh, so there are there are uh, uh, there are a part of companies who are solving uh, problems through technology there are problem uh, there are companies who are solving uh, problems through other methods right there are other things other than technology as well and in technology as well there are uh, companies who are maybe making hardware there are companies who are making software so uh there are companies who are making product there are companies who are giving services as well right so um so basically product manager is someone who is working on on a product so if a company has a product for example if uh, my company is selling bags so bag is my product right so my so uh, if as a product manager of a bag company i should be able to know whether uh, my uh, my customer keeps their cell phone in their bags or not hence i will make a pocket for sell their cell phones right so so i think uh, for every company uh, uh, who is making a product whether it's based on tech or not whether it's uh, they are making hardware or maybe a software or or maybe anything right so they really need a, a product manager who is expert in 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 the product right so basically what uh, uh, mainstream terminology if you talk about product manager if you search on linkedin uh, jobs in linkedin for product managers you will find jobs for uh, uh, jobs uh, in in the companies who are building some kind of a software some kind of an app or or maybe a maybe a website or something right so that that is that is mainstream product management so uh, so uh, and and there are like other other things as well right there are software managers so there are product managers who are building uh, iphones there are product managers who are building uh, bags right so so there uh, product managers are needed for for all kind of things uh, it it needs uh, even for bag you need a technology right so there is a machine who is who is making that bag there there are designers who are designing their bag right so uh, they they also need a product manager so uh, i am coming from a uh, software background i'm coming from a technology background who uh, i I've, i've been building working on apps and working on websites and all so uh, i in my perspective uh, my company would fail without a product manager my my company that the companies i have worked for would not function without a product manager because uh, right now currently uh, the kind of uh, the kind of expertise that is needed uh, uh, in 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 each of a work stream is has become very specific uh, it, it it has become uh, uh, slightly difficult for a person to ch- change their vertical maybe from a business to a product or maybe product to tech right so uh, so so uh, the, the, the kind of specific skill set which people come from a uh, company uh, that uh, that comes directly from the needs of need of a company as per like as per as per my limited experience whatever i have seen right so i mean am i my uh, the, the category manager for example the category manager or maybe the business manager with i'm with with whom i am working on might not be able to work on my place if 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 i'm on leave for one day right or 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 maybe i i would not be able to take his place or maybe i will not be able to take the place of a developer for a day even for a day so i think uh, for every company uh, uh, every every uh, every vertical is important client acquisition is as important as as software development product management is as important as business management so i think uh, product management uh, has been a backbone but i think uh, even software development is a backbone everything is a backbone right so uh, so uh, all these things are very much necessary product management i i don't want to highlight it as the most important part of a company but uh, i think it is one of the most important part of the company like uh, yeah so that's what my my uh, I, or that's what i think right so that uh, you know we all completely agree with that answer uh Uh, so uh, what is the demand that you foresee for product managers in india like you know, say the next 10 years uh, what will be the demand for product managers i think uh, the way uh, industry is evolving the way things are uh, getting forward uh, even a uh, lot of uh, like see we have uh, 
we ha- currently we are in a stage where we are transforming a from a industrial era to a information era and we have almost transformed to that era like like there was a uh, agriculture era then there was a industrial age then now we are in a information age of information right so now a uh, lot of things will be automated a lot of things will be run from by software even even a person who have been doing some kind of a manual job uh, working on uh, manufacturing their 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 work would be taken over by a hard where which would be running uh, from a software and in, in the in the back end right so that kind of an automation is happening right so we are all uh, uh, witnessing uh, that change in the uh, in the, in in the era right so having said that uh, we are also at the same time moving uh, even in the information age we are evolving so right now we are evolving from web 2 to web 3 lot of products lot of uh, lot of these uh, uh, apps a lot of technology is moving towards web 3 maybe right so i think uh, hello abhinav you are frozen i think yes uh, can you can you hear me hello yeah 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 i yeah, yeah, i can hear you actually your your screen is frozen actually oh okay okay yeah sorry sorry yeah so i'll i'll continue so basically yeah so uh, uh, what i was saying was uh, uh, so even in the information age we are seeing that uh, we are evolving from web 2 to web 3 people are uh, uh, moving towards a decentralized form of internet so even as as uh, as an inform uh, in the information age also we are evolving from one type of a uh, one type of a internet setup to a another type of an internet setup right so continuously people are moving towards uh, software people are moving to moving towards uh, adopting technology and i think this is going to uh, go up only people will be expected to uh, learn new things people will be expected to uh, to know new things i think even even currently our uh, current education curriculum does not provide us with courses like product management courses like uh, data science right uh, now i think uh, more, some some new courses are there in some universities but people are slowly slowly uh, adopting these kind of things and in their education curriculum and getting forward with these things but having said that i think there is a, a future of product management and i think product management will also evolve with time people will be expected to uh, know new things and there will be specialized kind of product management in future uh, there will be cust- uh, there will be business side of product management then there will be a tech side of product management there are actually th- th- there will be different kind of product manager they they, they they would be product manager who are experts in one field and there will be product manager who are experts in another field so right now we have very generic kind of product manager currently but uh, ha- uh, with the rise of technology one product man- manager i think won't be able to uh, handle won't be able to uh, uh, have uh, an exposure of uh, like 10 different type of technology which are all complex in their own sense right so someone will have to uh, uh, someone will have to know a lot of things but then also i think there would be specialized product management going in future because right now we uh, we have just seen the rise of product manager we have just seen a product management uh, start the start of product management i think it it is going to go in a long, a long way uh, uh, and as, as a product manager uh, we have to uh, work towards our own survival by continuous learning by continuous uh, uh, learning of new technologies by continuous understanding of of of, of new things evolving in, in the market because companies are dying today even even today uh, there are there are uh, d2c uh, d2c for example uh, currently um, zomato and swiggy are facing a lot of competition from uh, uh, players like uh, d2c uh, who who are developing d2c apps for restaurants amazon and flipkart are getting com- competition by players like shopify so continuously there is continuous innovation in the market and continuous innovation leads to uh, 
the development of uh, new types of roles new types of expertise demand of new types of expertise from product management and there is continuous uh, and a continuous learning and unlearning is needed uh, from the side of product managers so uh, it's it's difficult to survive but it's very important it becomes very important for every one of us to uh, keep in touch with the market to to uh, to uh, to have a continuous uh, uh, learning mechanism inside ourselves so i think product manager is a student in itself for for the lifetime i think right if i have to survive in this field i have to keep uh, keep reading things keep learning things so yeah so i am i'm not i'm not very different from you who is who is an mba student <laughs> so i am also a student myself i would say right that yes that's that's correct so uh, you know so when we were working on this project uh, like you know, on this course of product management we we came across this one particular uh, you know thought that is that um, you know uh, a lot of people think that a product manager is a mini ceo so uh, what are your insights on the same yeah product manager is a ceo of a product yes definitely i think it it is it is very much true the kind of uh, the kind of uh, autonomy you get in the company uh, you are trying you are basically trying to define a product vision you are basically trying to define what do your customer want and what uh, what how will you how will your tech team how can you leverage your tech team and your design team to solve that problem right uh, and that's what a business is right i mean how, how does a business start right for example you are you are you are a you want to be a ceo so you start your or company so h- how do you do that you first, first of all identify a problem right so you identify a problem and then you identify a solution and then you ask someone to write a code for you so that that problem is solved right so so th- that's what a product manager does even right now i have to on a day to day basis i have to interact with customers i have to continuous being in touch with my customers i have to continuously see i have to continuously check the data of uh, coming out of my product how, how, how is the customer behavior uh, getting like if is my customer getting stuck at some point of my uh, app or not right whatever customer pain i am uh, uh, my uh, whatever pain my customer is facing whatever issue is coming with my customer i am i am the one who is who has to solve that right because i have that is my kpi so i think product manager uh, uh, getting into product manager definitely uh, you are a mini ceo and that gives you a very good exposure if in future you want to open up your own company uh, right so because you are the one who is uh, directly in touch with the customer you are in, uh, you are you understand your customer you understand their problem and you are the one who who will tell the customer how will your problem be solved right so you are basically so- solving a problem for, for for the customer you are not the maybe you are not the one who is writing the code who is who is executing uh, who is executing uh, the code or who is who is maybe um, uh, for example if I, if i need a bag i'm i'm not the one who is stitching the bag i am just telling my uh, designer or telling my manufacturer that how, 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 that is this bag should look like this this will solve the problem of my customer so i am the C- CEO. yes i am the ceo so that, that that's definitely true okay that's that's great i guess that gives a lot of clarity on that thought as well uh, so um so my next question is uh, who can take product management as a career and what are the popular uh, you know uh, roles for somebody like you know who's a fresher uh, like you know uh, basically with no experience and for someone who has some work experience i think product manager anyone can take product management uh, you don't need uh, 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 you don't need expertise into any field you just need an open mind you just need to be open to learning you just need to be uh, you just need to be a good listener you need to be a, a good problem solver uh, i don't think there is any type of a prerequisite uh, for product man- i think i uh, see uh, if you learn about any uh, famous product managers in in this world if you learn about uh, product managers who have changed uh, a good amount of things so people we have people ha- who have built netflix maybe people have built things like so majority of them were engineers i agree to that uh but then there were some uh, game changing product managers who who had uh, a major into philosophy who had a major into sociology who had a major into uh, literature maybe so i think uh, what i'm trying to say here is uh you don't really need to know technology uh, if you want to be a product manager you just need an open mind to understand technology 
because even uh, even uh, 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 an mb in mba they don't i don't think they teach technology they teach business right so so uh, uh, and see and technology is a very big word technology uh, uh, i mean no one uh, can understand all kind of technology you have to you have to be open to understanding one thing right because uh, no one can teach anything in college even if you are taking a four year course or maybe a two year course or maybe a six year course uh, no one can teach uh, anything that will be uh, that will directly be of any use when you are uh, working as a product manager because when you come into product management you there are thousands or maybe lakhs of problems to be solved in the market there are all kind of companies in the market there are companies solving all kind of problems through all kind of technologies in the market so you cannot you can never understand all kind of technologies you can never work on all kind of problems you will choose one or uh, majority of the people don't get to choose company you get to choose you <laughs> majority of the times uh, being practical so uh, right so uh, i mean even i didn't choose to work in companies like ola or clear tax they chose me you can say that because i i applied in like 10 uh, 100 different companies and then i got like four five different offers and then i got to choose between among them right so i get a very limited amount of choice or any one of you they you will always have a limited amount of choices so don't ever think that whatever you study uh, uh, whatever technology you study you will be working on that technology only or that problem only right so you should be open to learn learning that thing so you will be learning while working so think like that think uh, it like that you are when you are working as a product manager meant you are getting paid for learning new things right so i uh, think you can think it like that so to answer your question uh, who can do product management i think anyone can do product management uh, 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 you don't need any hard skills but you need certain soft skills what are the soft skills those soft skills are you should be a very good listener you should listen you should be a very good uh, 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 you should be open to learning new things you should uh, try to understand uh, new things you should uh, try to be a very good retainer about whatever you are learning or listening ultimately you will have to connect dots uh, inside your head uh, about the things you have learned and about the problem that you are uh, going to solve right because uh, 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 things uh, product management is also about innovating new uh, new solutions right so uh, so it the problem can be anything and everything uh, the technology can be anything and everything you would, uh, you just need to uh, get open uh, uh to uh, you should need to uh, develop some logical thinking some critical thinking you have to think critically at times you have to ask a lot of questions you have to de- uh, you have to develop a big picture about things sometimes right so these are some of the soft skills i would say no hard skills required if you know uh, coding i think if you know coding i think that's a plus uh, in product management because then you will develop some empathy with the developers but uh, again that's uh, that that's not really necessary i don't know coding uh, right so i i i have done some coding but i i, I don't know coding uh, so being engineering background is not really necessary any kind of work experience is not really necessary you just need an open mind just uh, read books i think i i will say read books go to some blog sites read some blogs about that what do they do product managers do and first of all try to understand whether you are interested uh, uh, whether you are really interested in uh, uh, in being a product manager or not right i think uh, interest level matters a lot if you are not interested and you are doing it just because of some other reason then i think uh, i i don't think uh, it will be hard to get success in product as a product manager but interest level is something which is really necessary if you are enthusiastic about that thing i think you will uh, you 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 can do wonders but if you're not then so first of all try to uh, find out if you are really interested in 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 in, in such, a, such a such kind of a work or not and also also you will uh, at at times you if you're working in a startup since i have been coming from a startup background you should be open to working for long hours you, you should be open to grilling your head uh, some people uh, don't really uh, some people want to live a comfortable life uh, product manager uh, does not have a comfortable life at all i will uh, <laughs> i would like to warn some people about that uh, uh, especially in startup so you will have to grill your head a lot um, so there are some sleepless nights you'll have to take out uh, um, and uh, uh, also uh, 
you will have to if you uh, like not a lot not all all of all of the people are successful as a, as a product manager uh, uh, some people struggle uh, as a product manager a lot but again you have very good exit opportunities if you are a product manager so uh, yeah so to answer your question in short uh, no formal education no work experience required and if someone wants to start as a fresher uh, uh, if they want to start in product management the easiest way to get into product management uh, so so basically uh, there are there is a product vertical in the company right so that pro product vertical does not it does not only have product managers it also have product analysts it also have product market product uh, product marketing managers it also has uh, it also has uh, uh, mm, uh, I mean, uh, um, other folks like uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe designers or someone, right? So uh, then, then there are interns, there are APMs as well, right? So um, for me, I got into product manager because I because I got into product analytics, right? So I got I I took the analytics route of things. So you can definitely take analytics route of things. I got a really good exposure when I was a product analyst uh, and I was a serial senior product analyst. Uh, uh, you can get into go from a marketing side of things so product marketing is something where you will also get a very good exposure to product management uh, direct uh, entry into product management is also possible you can get uh, you can uh, look for apm roles which is associate for product manager uh, which are really entry level ro roles you will find in some startups and some good companies uh, and uh, there is uh, also a lot of people i have seen who get into product management through software development right so you can be a product designer or a software developer uh, you can spend some time interacting uh, with, with 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 the product talk guys and you can get into product management and i have also done business management myself so i was after uh, leaving ola i was uh, uh, an associate category manager for uh, one and a half year so so i have uh, been into revenue side of things uh, so that's how i got into product management so so basically i uh, so you can uh, so basically you'll have to get closer to product manager right so what in whatever you want to be you have to get closer to a product manager you can get into business technology or design or you can get into analytics or uh, product marketing any any of these things so there are like a lot of uh, ways but uh, ultimately you should get in touch with some product manager you should try to understand uh, uh, what do they do in in your particular company because there are product manage all kind of product managers and in your comp uh, uh, so i think uh, if you get into a company it is uh, easier to get an internal switch uh, into product management if you are in some other department uh, uh, as compared to uh, 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 external uh, uh, applying uh, uh, suppose i'm an analyst in company and applying as a product management in another company it will be very difficult for me while it will be easier for me in the same company so yeah so that's how you can get into product management so um so sir uh, are there any specific you know uh, courses for product management uh, like you know Anything that would like you know anything of that sort that has you know that has started off late, or or like how is it? Mm, I I don't uh, I think I there there should be a lot of courses. I have not done any. Um, I I I have not even done an MBA. So uh, in MBA, I think these days they have a product management specialization in some colleges. But uh, as such courses, I don't know because I never took a formal uh, course for product management. But what I can say is, I mean, uh, so what what I do uh, to like keep myself on uh, like uh, on like uh, on, on on track as a product manager, uh, keep myself updated about product management and all. I read things uh, all the time, so there are some uh, good uh, uh, platforms where I go and read. I read Medium. I uh, I read some books which are suggested by my other product management folks, uh, and then I I I I read a lot about uh, I. Uh, so there, there's an app called FWD. There are some uh, apps like that who really upskill you in terms of becoming a good product manager. Um, and i think there is a lot of material which is available online uh, i think uh, uh, there are some good places like techcrunch where i get myself updated with with the latest things happening i read some business periodicals who are based on some uh, technology startups i i i uh, read the ken uh, which is a business periodical who is based out of 
uh, which is based mostly on tech startups right so i keep myself updated about things how people how are currently people solving problems all around the world uh, right so uh, but for developing skills particularly into product management i have not done any course myself uh, i mean but I, and i'm not the right person to tell you what course to do so yeah you can maybe ask someone else no issue sir so um so you know uh, 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 before we end the interview or uh, do you have like a short message to tell all the budding students who want to get into product management any short message for them uh okay so i mean uh, if you are a student right now and you want to be a student all your life so you should uh, really look look towards product management product management you will be a product manager as well as a student all your life uh, i mean because if 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 learning is something which excites you if, if continuously developing yourself as a person mm-hmm. and continuously learning new and new things because because like things things are going to change drastically in the, in, the, in the coming uh, 20 20 30 40 50 years uh, if you want to get updated with the technology if you want to get updated Uh, with with what what will be changing the world in in the next twenty thirty years? So product management is your thing. Uh, not just because uh, you will be updated with a lot of things, but also you will be making an impact towards the changing world, right? So if you want to make a direct impact. through technology if you want to make a direct impact for the customers for the customers of the future i think product management is uh, is your thing right so yeah all right so that's that's uh, you know so that's great uh, thank you for taking out time out of your busy schedule for this interview and i'm sure that the viewers of this episode have learned something and they have taken on a lot of notes about product management uh, thank you viewers for watching uh, stay tuned for more thank you thank you thanks sir